Right, here I am, look, back, Suffolk Triumph, here, what are you thinking what have I got to ride? Well, look at this, I'm on a, a bobber, here, round clock, marvellous ignition's down here though, weird, ah there we go, <laughs> marvellous, yeah, let's see how it goes. Ah, oh, listen to that, this little baby's done 23 miles, better be a bit careful with it. Oh, clunk into gear. That's marvellous. Let's see, get going. Suffolk Road. Uh, Jake said to me, don't do the Suffolk Road. <laughs> so I'm going to go and do the Suffolk Road, yeah? Marvellous. Bar end mirrors straight off. You know how I feel about those. But they sort of go, they, you've got to have them with this bike, haven't you? Yeah? Marvellous. Anyway, get my visor closed. And we'll see how we go. First feelings. Lovely. Yeah. Um, don't know what mode I'm in. Uh, I'm in rain. Yeah. But sensible. It's raining. Or oh, it has been raining. Yeah. Um, it's surprising me how comfortable I feel on it. Yeah. Uh, my nephew. He's got a bobber. Yeah, uh, absolutely loves it. Um, I mean, basically a T120 uh, in a different frock. Yeah, I think there's a bit more to it than that, but I, I'm, I couldn't swear to it. So the sound is exactly the same. Just taking it nice and steady. Oh, look at that. Look at that car, marvellous, how's that ended up there, in the 30, just before the 50, marvellous. There we go, got half a tank of petrol. Uh, it may or may not rain, I don't know. I, I got rained on, on the way here. Um, but it's bloody marvellous red, like the rocket, yeah, and the uh, 1200 ah. Uh, a lovely colour. Um, uh, one downside to this, uh, Mrs. Ollie motorcyclist, she she couldn't go on it. <laughs> oh dear, um, I'd be in trouble if I bought this then, um, because I think she'd quite like it. So but the plan is anyway. Um, I'm going to do the Suffolk Road despite against all advice uh, perhaps not to do it um, because the um, the seat is right on top of the shocker yeah and there's not the, the seat is more of a platform um, but as I've said before firm and hard it's comfortable especially long distance um, I am surprised. I I said to Jake, this came about, this whole thing came about because I Jake said, You haven't ridden the bobber. I said, I don't want to ride the bobber. I've got no interest. I don't want my feet stuck out in front. He said, Your feet aren't stuck out in front. They're just like they are on the uh, on the rocket. I said, No. He said, Yeah. So um I here I am on it. <laughs> yeah, simple as that. Well, I've got to say, um, I am rather enjoying it so far. Be interesting to see what it's like on the uh, A12, um, and then oh, the washboard road. Oh, yeah, that'll be interesting as well. Um, but I've got to say, on this road, on these sort of roads, it is uh, already heading for splendiferous. Yeah, um, very comfortable nice position bars just the nice width um, and even the bar end mirrors I don't notice that the bar end they're just sort of there I just see and I can see behind me yeah almost in the peripheral vision if you know what I mean yeah excellent uh, and of course the controls exactly the same as the T120 and very similar to the T100 so that's easy brakes 
absolutely fine. I don't know whether they're Brembo or, or what they are. I'll try and have a quick look if I can stand still. Yeah, Brembo. Brembo brakes. I don't know what's going on here with the traffic. So, round the corners, what <laughs> did easy. It's got massive fat tyres on it. I don't know what size they are. Um, I'm not going to go like a loony on it because it hasn't done very many miles. Um, and I don't treat bikes badly, not even even if they're demonstrated. I might just overtake this car though. Yeah, a um, little bit of pressure from the wind, but not much. I mean, it's it's quite pleasant. Um, we're only doing sort of 65, 70, but I think again, I think that clock, yeah, that clock uh, does a little bit of a job. So we'll see. Yeah, marvelous. Look at that. Um, doesn't appear to be a rev counter anywhere, but it's not important for today's exercise. Uh, in fact, on the T120, I'm not sure it's important at all. This is lovely. Yeah, here we are in autumn. It's a bit cooler, a bit sunny, a bit rainy, a bit cloudy. Sure, you know what it's like in between. It's sort of like all four seasons into one. Yeah, marvellous. But a nice little rumble to the engine, which I don't know if you can hear over the wind and stuff. And also being tucked away inside the helmet. Yeah, very nice. Around the corners. Oh, it's a lovely tone from those exhausts. So here we go, we'll be heading now towards the washboard. I'm getting excited about it. Yeah. I guess it's a little bit lazy on the steering but it's pretty solid and I should imagine you could flick it around quite easily. Um, first little bump there. It is quite hard on the suspension. I don't know if you could get a touring seat for it or not. But the bike itself... Oh, I'm going to get over and take this car. Because it's sort of dithering. So now we're onto the real wasp way and it is quite firm on your bottom um, but it's not that bad I've been on worse down here yeah it's just a little bit harder that's all and I think that could be just from the thickness of the seat and I think you could probably sort that with um, a slightly thicker seat. I don't know if they do one. It'll be interesting to find out. Sir, we oh, listen to that sound. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's quite nice. Yeah, 
um, it does have a very nice feel to it on the on the handling obviously I'm not pushing it or anything um, I ain't even gonna go off camera and disappear like I usually do um, I'm just gonna do this ride because I've got a short window of opportunity in the weather I think so here we are Suffolk road test yeah and then the senses of course after the walk around so we've got uh, uh, cars bicycles horses but big people small people we also know there's balloons baths and doors occasionally is that car gonna wait there for me oh marvelous what a gent Um, I tell you what, it's pretty decent down here. I wouldn't want to be going any faster than what I am now um, on very many bikes. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Ah. Oh, I just came out the seat a little bit then. But, um, yeah, marvellous. A bicycle. Oh, a sm small... Oh, no, it's not a small person. It sort of is a small person on a tricycle. Yeah. So let's have a stop here and a walk around. Yeah, marvellous. Look at that, get it in the sun. This bike deserves to be in the sun, straight into neutral. Gearbox, smooth as anything. Yeah. Um, side stand, easy to find. There it is. Let's get it down and have a look. Yeah. There we go. Let's have a look. Beautiful view. There's a few people out sailing. Quite a nice day for a sail. Um, yeah. Not bad. Right, switch cameras. Sure. Here we are. Uh, Triumph Bobber 1200. Yeah. Marvellous, isn't it? It's not a bad looking bike, really. But look at that seat, look how thin that seat is. It's just on a bar, just like a platform. Yeah, and you're right on top of that shocker, so you're not actually getting any benefit for it because of the angle of the shock. Yeah, but do you know what? <laughs> it's not that uncomfortable. From what Jake was saying, I thought this was going to be horrendous, but it's not. So let's start at the front. Uh, Brembo twin brakes front yeah two pots R tiny little round headlamp don't know how good that'd be at night time uh indicators obviously all led bar end mirrors but it's like a wide wide angle tv i suppose yeah for the view um foot pegs sort of in the mid really um very comfortable yeah very neutral position Look at that exhaust as well. I think that's quite splendiferous. Yeah, look at it, it's marvellous. Oh, big hole at the back. Um, no back seat. Yeah, don't know what Mrs. Ollier motorcyclist would think about that. Um, coming round, nice little light. Obviously that bit sort of compulsory, isn't it? But this little baby's done barely any miles. Um, Oh, look at this, yeah, um, I understand Stuart's got one, hasn't he, Uncle Stu, he's got a black one, I quite like it in this red, um, metal, yeah, marvellous, uh, tiny little radiator, metal front, yeah, mud guard, it's just splendiferous, one big round clock, um, uh, it's fine. It's a bit like the Moto Guzzi and uh, the Street Twin and stuff. Uh, absolutely fine. At least it's round and it looks like it's analog. Um, yeah, car. <laughs> uh, Fox gated. Um, and that lovely 1200cc engine. Um, I don't know if this is a high power or a high torque engine but it seems pretty damn smooth to me to be honest pretty damn smooth uh, it's, uh, 
well, I've, I haven't gone fast, have I? Let's be honest. There you go, marvellous. Um, guess we need to get on the road and do the census test. Look at that view, marvellous. Right, here we go, back on. Still in rain mode, it stayed in rain mode. Um, never used to do that with a Bonneville, it used to flip back to road. Yeah. Marvellous. See how many miles per gallon we get from it. So, into gear. Uh, and off we go on the bumpy road and the senses. So, I'm going to take it steady to start with. We're almost straight away into a 30, so that'd be sensible anyway. We'll see how smooth we can make it. I don't know, it seems okay. I was anticipating it being really, really terrible. The handling's fine, but uh, anyway. Let's get on to the senses. Uh, we'll start with the taste. Uh, I ain't tasting it, no. Um, and then we'll deal with the smell. Yeah, it smells absolutely splendiferous, I've got to be honest. Brand new engine. Um, I had a good sniff of it while we were doing the walk around and it smelled lovely. It's a nice cool day today as well, which brings out the scent more. Yeah. Um, uh, what have we got then? to look at yeah um, well it's it's lovely isn't it I would I would I would put uh, the smell at splendiferous uh, and to look at it's what it is it's a bobber it looks like a bobber um, I don't you know um, it it's a bit more naughty boy looking isn't it like someone who's gonna rub your grandmother type you know, it's that sort of style of bike. Yeah, marvellous. Um, and uh, for that, it's pretty splendiferous. Get my visor closed. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, to look at. I'd, I'd say it is splendiferous. Um, to touch. Um, it has quality. Yeah, triumph. Yeah, they don't tend to do things by half. Um, and it's got a metal brake reservoir. Yeah, um, the paintwork and everything so glossy and smooth. Um, yeah, I, I, it's got to be splendiferous. It, it's got to be getting on there. Um, so we've done uh, sight, taste, um, touch, um, smell. Uh, oh, what's it? What's what's next? I can't remember. Uh, so we've gone to the sixth sense. <laughs> yeah, if I remember, I've forgotten one of the senses. What a loony! Um, um, so the sixth sense, how does it make me feel? Oh well, to be quite honest, it's lovely. Um, it makes me feel like riding very smoothly and, uh, oh boy, um, and uh, safely cruising. It makes me feel like cruising and really it is a cruiser, isn't it? That's what a bobber is, I suppose. A cruiser, um, yeah. Uh, I could I get used to it? Yeah, I think I could. Um, the suspension is just a little bit firm, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. No, it's not. It is uh, a nice bike. Um, the engine feels nice and smooth. The, um, yeah, it needs bedding in a bit, doesn't it, the engine? We're in rain mode as well. Um, I don't know how many modes it's got. I suspect it's got rain 
run road and that'll be it it might have a sport but i doubt it um could have a look couldn't i have a look when we get up here oh, it's got a oh, sound that was it the sound how could i forget that yeah the most important sense um the sound is splendiferous even with the standard pipes on yeah that's what i'd say let's have a look we've got rain road rain our road yeah so we've got a lot of traffic as well and we've got this tractor turning down here he's going at quite a pace look at the traffic this is worse than it was a cop dock cop docks just down there by the way yeah oh we're almost there um, and I'm sorry if everybody wants me to rag it to see what it goes like I know what it goes like, I've ridden the T120, I've ridden the Speedmaster, I know all about the engine. Um, I don't need to, and I'm not going to, because it's only done about 50, 60 miles now. Yeah. Um, but at the moment, we're getting 84 to the gallon. How about that then, chaps? Yeah. Uh, we're down to 73 now, but we're only in third. Yeah, marvellous, isn't it? Um, so I should imagine it's relatively thrifty here yeah. um, for a big 1200cc engine. Brakes, well, you know, they're the pretty good to be honest. Yeah, uh, balance, slow speed, look at that, it's cruising, it's dead easy. A very very nice sound a bit of a burble to it yeah that's marvelous so on here dead smooth yeah Marvellous. I like it. I like it a lot, to be honest. Yeah, I do. It's very smooth, it's very easy, it's very well balanced. Um, and those big fat tyres, maybe they make it more comfortable. I don't know. It is so, so well balanced. Um, brakes good um, the brake levers it might just be me I'm going to have a look um, they seem thicker than they are on the T120 as I've said before this corner catches you out if you're not careful because it just keeps going it's the corner that keeps giving No problem for this. We weren't going particularly quickly, were we? Yeah, I like it. I like this bike. I think it might be added to the list. Yeah, the short list that's getting longer. I <laughs> know. Bonkers, isn't it? Um, I don't know how much they are. I'm guessing they're about somewhere between 11 and a half and 12 and a half. I don't know. Um, you could probably just look it up on their website. Uh, likewise, for the brake horsepower and the top speed and uh, the dimensions and stuff. I can't remember all those sort of things. Um, so, yeah, do it, do it yourself. <laughs> yeah, so. Or a very easy bike to ride. 
very easy. Yeah. Um, and of course, this is the reality. It's 1200 cc's. Um, we're stuck in traffic and we're in a 50 mile an hour speed limit anyway. And some bikes that uh, can do much faster and greater speeds, they're not very easy to ride like this. So it's important uh, when you're trying a bike, unless you're just buying it for a track bike, that you find out what's it like at slow speed, what's it like in traffic, what's it like doing 40, 50 miles an hour on it. Because I have ridden bikes that even at 50 miles an hour, they become quite tiring to ride at that. Um, and I'm trying to think of how I could explain what I mean by that, but if you've experienced it, you know what I mean. So there you go, aviation mu uh, museum down there. I didn't know that. Um, very easy to handle, yeah. Uh, nice big round clock. Yeah, I tell you what, if you had little hands, you might struggle with this brake lever. Yeah. Oh, we've got a motorbike here, what's this? Triumph, is it? Triumph Tiger or something like that. Yeah, Triumph Tiger Explorer. Marvellous. Oh, listen to that exhaust. Yeah, very nice. It feels like a much smaller bike than a 1200. Yeah. Um, so I think even, I mean, as you know, I'm six foot two. I've got an inside leg of 34. I don't know if that's important to you to know that information. Um, but I'd be surprised if uh, anybody over five foot couldn't ride this I'd be, I'd be very surprised but not being five foot I couldn't say for certain but I mean my leg is almost like I'm sat on a chair when I put my foot down yeah that's how low it is and yet you would think that'd make it uncomfortable to sit on and it's not yeah Vauxhall Stadium there people that don't know Ipswich yeah Speedway racing, yeah, uh, Ipswich go along with Sheffield and places like that. You got one of the best teams, yeah, in the country. Very good at it, Ipswich. Uh, this is such a pleasant bike to ride um, at these low speeds in town. Let's <laughs> make a good town bike. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, 1200 cc, good town bike, marvellous. Cruiser, good town bike is bonkers but that's what it feels like it feels very easy to ride very simple um, I'm very comfortable yeah I, in fact I'm gonna have to have a word with Jake because he he, he he frightened me a little bit he said oh, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit uncomfortable it's not uncomfortable it's not uncomfortable at all no not to me anyway uh, yeah it's a bit hard on the suspension but um, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Maybe he was building me up, but here we are. Um, and as usual, I've got something to say, haven't I? You know what it's gonna be, don't you? Something we didn't discuss. Let's have a look. There we go. Yeah, you know what it is. No centre stand. No, it's not a centre stand. <laughs> Marvellous. But the bike itself, um, a splendiferous. That's where I'm going with it. Yeah, Bobber splendiferous. Um, prefer it to the T120. Uh, it's quite cool looking. Uh, yeah tiny little headlamp don't know what it's like at night but I'm sure it'll be fine yeah bloody marvellous red tank there you go Triumph Bobber Bonneville 
1200 splendiferous <laughs>